Thanks. Good morning, everyone. Um, Good morning. I'm really pleased to be here uh, for a number of reasons, and I want to build on something that Julie said, and um, as she reiterated, the demographic changes are not new. But what's important about PAC Plus is recognizing a very important demography is not destiny. Just because you have the numbers doesn't mean um, things will change. And therefore, having an organization launching PAC Plus to try to really, through rigor, through transparency and accountability, provide the skills to really tap into that potential is why I'm here. Um, my time in the White House and in politics, I've really come to understand uh, the role of money and votes. And there, um, until we change some of the infrastructure, if you will, it's, it's money and votes. Now, particularly in light of states that, of Citizens United, it's vitally important that more people, more people be involved in our democracy. And it can't be just the mega donors. It has to be households across America that can contribute not multi-millions, but several hundred dollars. And when you know, and when you look at what happened in 2008, he had over 600,000, President Obama had over 600,000 donors who gave more than $200. Now, to look at the money side, there are 1.5 million Latino households and 1.4 million African American households that have an annual income greater than 100,000 a year. And I think of my colleagues, people I went to school with, a generation of folks who, who were politicized, but then went off and did, became doctors, lawyers, business people, but still have some interest in politics, but, but they're not gonna spend day in and day out, all their time. Uh, this provides a vehicle for them. Additionally, what's I think very important is that PAC Plus is focused on six strategic states, right? Um, in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Georgia, California, and Ohio, and those provide an opportunity to be focused, and that's critical. Now, what PAC Plus provides the vehicle for is to move, in my belief, um, the next stage beyond identity politics. Again, important, the last 30, 40 years, building the pride in all of the differences that we are, but recognizing that when there is no single majority, in order to make change, we have to work together. And this is about the power of participation, um, Politics over the last decades have been a myopic obsession with likely voters, leaving millions of people never <coughs> being asked for their vote. And I think the statistic that most resonates with me is that in 2008, which was one of the most dramatic elections of our generation, Less than 53% of Americans eligible to vote actually voted. So this is about really keeping our democracy vibrant. And in order to do that, we have to ask a lot more people to be involved, to be engaged. Steve said that this was about democracy with a small d. This is about a PAC with a small p. We're going to be talking to people who share our values, who want to be part of the change in this country, and provide them a vehicle to be involved and be engaged. Thank you.